Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to be fixing a leaking kitchen faucet. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. You ever turn on the kitchen faucet, and although water runs out the end like it's supposed to, it also runs in areas where it's not supposed to? Well, by the end of this video, you're going to know how to fix that. Okay, so this is an old faucet. This thing is probably 12 to 15 years old. It's a growy faucet. Uh, it's an import, very high quality faucet, but uh, you know, it's showing its age a little bit. So I turn the sucker on and you can see that it's leaking. Coming out of the end like it should, great. But it's also coming out at this connection here. Yeah, so I saw a little bit of water come out of here. There's this, this is nothing but a, uh, uh, housing for this hose. The problem is the problem is with the connection between the head and the hose. So we're going to fix that. Okay, so as I showed you in the segment before here, you can see this water is coming out right around here. And it may just be the it may just be the screw connection here. So I'm going to remove this and kind of clean it up. Make sure I don't lose any washers. So, I mean, this is, this is kind of corroded. It's got a flange here to keep the cap from going down. I don't see a washer here. Oh, and this is the top of this is, the top of this is a washer. But you can see the threads are kind of kind of jacked up. You can see corrosion along here. I'm going to get a brush and clean that up here. So I was looking at getting a wire brush to clean this stuff up, but uh, these are plastic. This is metal and it's really old. I think all I'm going to do is uh, get my old scrub daddy here and just kind of clean that up a little bit. I don't want to mess up the plastic threads on that other thing, so I think this is good. Yeah, so that stuff's coming right up. Okay, so you can see, clean all the way around. It's so old, the rubber housing is broken off this little diverter button. Let's screw this back on. And if any luck, it won't leak. That gets seated into there. Screw that back down. And my hands are wet. And you don't want to put a tool on this. You'll scratch up this, this handhold. Nice and dry. That's all it was. Tighten that sucker up and you're done. It just, it comes apart after people put it back, pull it out, put it back, pull it out. So, yeah, nice and dry. Well, that was an easy fix. I hope that video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.